we'll add a detail record to this property lead. Click in there. We'll go down to the detail area. So we'll click the jump to details. Click in the detail field and say create new item. And that will say what type of say it's a uh, single family, four bedroom, two baths, built in 2000. It is a two story colonial type. Construction, we'll call it brick. It's got some vinyl in there too. Basement, it's finished. Garage, two car attached. Gas heat. And then I don't know the years. Central AC, yes, I don't know when it was installed. It has breakers. Public water, yes. City water, water is on, oil tank, no, roof type, composite shingles, the age of the roof, ten years, last kitchen model. And then like the uh, let's save this right now and you can see that the calculation fields which are the detail when I say calculation fields a lot of times I'm talking about the uh, the header fields these header fields are actually calculation fields that I added text to so they can break up the different areas so that it, when I save and return to jump back to the property lead so if we go back into the details again, so you can see the general information it's providing here on the, the property lead area. So if we click into here, we can continue editing. So now we see we have the amenities and we have the same jump navigation here. So let's go back down to the amenities and see if we finished filling all that out. We did. Now the repairs and the update section, additional information, any repairs or updates needed. I would say roof deck. Updates, kitchen, and bedrooms. Now, what repairs and updates would you do if you were going to stay in the house? So, this is a question you'll ask the seller. Here's the mortgage section. If, you, if the house has a mortgage, you can fill this out with information you've got from the seller, you get from the tax records. You have everything from how much is owed, current interest rate, are you behind on payments. And just like anything else, this is just a, you can always modify these forms by clicking modify template. If there's information you need, like in a field, you can go in and add the field to the section, create new sections. It's all up to you. This is just a template. It's a starter for you to customize and create however you do your business, whatever matches best. So now you have personal questions. This is the gauge, like the seller motivation, and that sort of deal. You know, what is your asking price? And then later on, you'll come back down to what was the least you would take here. And this is the value I would use for the MAO. Or this is the value I would use to gauge whether I should make an offer on this house. And then I used it to help me determine the MAO. It's not the MAO. Would you consider owner financing? How fast do you wish to sell? And so forth. Again, here is the item URL, like I explained in the property video. And here are the system fields once again, where you can do tags, tasks, and put in any files. And then down, down, down at the bottom here, Podio always puts a related items section. So if, since we've related this item back to the property, it shows up here, the property lead. So we can actually click this and go back. And 
we can scroll down and we can see that it details it's single family, it's colonial, four bedroom, two bath. The lease that will take is 200000 So that's basically the detail record. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email me and uh, hope you enjoy the template.